Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we're little, mate. It's been paranormal crazy at the moment with aliens in Miami. If you haven't seen the videos I've been popping up, go and check them out. It's been crazy with the paranormal. We're going to go deeper into the paranormal now, into a different realm, okay, of the spooky wookies. We're looking at a little channel called Fearsome.5. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? This one is called Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Freak You Out, okay? I'm looking forward to it, mate. I bet you are too. Without further ado, Dar Diddly Day, let's do this. Oh, by the way, have you seen my top five yet? It's, as I'm recording this, it's Monday. It's Monday at 1 p.m. And tonight at 7 p.m. is going to be my very first top five paranormal compilation video. Okay? I'll, I'll leave the link here or something. Please go and check it out. I'm super excited. I don't even know. It, it's been up now for a couple of days, I would imagine, because I'm uploading this on Wednesday. So hopefully it's done well. If it hasn't, please go over there and go and watch it. Anyway, wait. Without further ado, Dad Lee Day, let's do this. Shh. Go on, there's some top five. Shush. Right, number two, because I've already seen the first one like 58,000 times, okay? <laughs> Maybe not that many. Number two. YouTube user Non-Tactical Shooter is a channel run by a man that strictly makes videos about firearms. But just recently, he posted something entirely different. Late one night, around four in the morning, his daughter complained that she suddenly woke up and couldn't fall back to sleep. Well, once the morning rolled around, a non-tactical shooter noticed a notification from his ring camera from 4 a.m. Hmm. And when he reviewed the footage, this is what he saw. Oh, what the fuck, man? What the digital, di what the digital ghost to you? What? That's like, as the video. that's begins. like one of those, um, you know, those dot cameras, you know, the cameras that you shine, it's got loads of dots everywhere to, to, you know what I mean? It's like that. It's like a digital ghost. Hey, like a yell. Ends, a faint white figure seems to manifest into view then slowly moved across his backyard and out of frame. Oh, 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 oh. Why is my space bar not working? Oh, it, it could be like loads of moths. You know? It's like a, it's like a manifestation of loads of moths. It's to have a humanoid shape, but clearly is not a living person. Non-tactical wow. shooter could not ignore the bizarre coincidence that this anomaly happened to show up around the same time that his daughter couldn't sleep. But who or what could this low-budget Casper be? <laughs> low-budget Casper. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Over on the Ghost Tech Paranormal oh, YouTube come on, channel, let's go. paranormal investigators Jeff and Mark set out to investigate a place known as Slough Ford. Constructed in 1867, this small artillery fort was put in place in case of possible enemy landings. And throughout the years, it transitioned from being used for World War II, to a zoo, and even to a farm. But today, the current staff at the fort have reported seeing an angry soldier who doesn't seem to like visitors. Ghostly footsteps, voices, and loud noises are also commonly heard within these brick walls. Mm. To kick things off, Jeff and Mark made their way to the main courtyard and began trying to establish contact. Okay. This device. By the way, this channel is epic. And you haven't subscribed to their channel, please make sure you do so. Let's carry on. I'm holding in my hand is a recorder. You won't know what it is, but what it does, it records sound. So see that red light? If you speak into that red light, we can play that back and hear what you're saying. So if you've got something to tell us or ask us, or indeed tell us about yourself, that would be brilliant. So what I'm going to do here we go, mate. It's going to kick off. I'm going to put this over here on this ledge. So at any time you want to 
speak, just speak into that red light. It'll be nice to know your name, what rank you are. Prestige one. So if you could please introduce yourself. The sensitive digital recorder which I had placed on the window ledge is receiving several amazing EVPs. A voice of an officer giving us his rank and name. A voice saying Gunner Corporal but we cannot decipher his surname. Is it it? Here is the audio. Yes. What rank you are? So if you could please introduce Gunner. yourself. What rank? Mate, I've got to be honest with you. I love this channel, but I didn't hear shit. Right? <laughs> I didn't hear shit then. I heard... <laughs> Come on. You are. So if you okay, I saw a herd gunner. Could you please introduce yourself? What sounds right. like a ghostly voice trying to break through the static was captured. The guys then made their way to a different part of the floor. That's just the lemon next to the pie, mate. I'm sure when it comes to these guys, it's going to go to another level, right? Just watch. Ward, where the activity began to escalate. Huh. If you can't muster up enough energy for us to see you, could you tap, tap or bang on something? Oh, what the fuck! What was that? I saw something moving over there just before you did that. Something just tapped on my right shoulder. I saw something moving behind you before, before you reacted like that. That's why I didn't say I didn't say anything. That made me jump anyway. Now it's tapping from behind me. Who? So, made me jump. I don't. Sorry, you made me jump. I've never seen him move so quick. I would have jumped on. I would have ramboed it. I would have just gone, hey, shit! And I've got his finger, the ghost finger, like, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Out for the count. Dead again. It Double KO! <laughs> if you could do something again, maybe not not this time touch one of us, but move <laughs> something. I thought one of the chairs went. The f There's movement behind you, Jeff. Thank you. Come on in. What's that? Is, that? is that your chair making that noise? Your chair's moving. I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> My fucking chair's moving. Who was? It was. It was shaking. It was moving as I was sitting on it. I can hear it. That's why I said, "Is that your chair?" It was actually slightly dragging as I was sitting on it. Do you? Do you not like us being in here because we're not military? Ooh. Is that you? No. That was loud. That was... What was... I thought it was you. Was it no, you? I didn't move. I, I haven't moved. It was... There. It, again? What is that? Oh, there's tapping coming from near you. Who's doing that? Is that Sam and Colby's mates? Tapping. Is that... The joke. I sort of haven't continued on with the Sam and Colby. I should do, really. I think the next episode... I think one of the reasons why I didn't do it is because it was like a two-hour-long episode or something. But I, sh I should have. Because there's, there's rumours going around that, like, you know, these two were tapping or some sort of clicking or their own bodies. I don't fucking know, mate. I just... Like, but I want to I wanna see it, but it's two hours long. I was just like, maybe, maybe I should. Or let me know. Should I? Let's carry on. Do it again. Do it again!
Someone is he tapping under the table? In boots, I've gone freezing cold. I always say that in every episode. No, that's coming or from a different area. Moving? That's coming from a different area. No, it's not the chair. What's the, who's making that noise? Do it again. That's walking. That's walking. Can I see your hand, please? Now I've seen your hand, I just really need to see your hand. Right by you. I said I could see some over there. The sound of boots walking is heard, which seems to be coming from inside the room. Here is the audio enhanced, taken from Mark's digital recorder. Oh, okay. What's the, who's making that noise? Do it again. Yeah, to be fair to them, the, 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 the noise doesn't sound like it's a table being tapped. A table being tapped is very high pitch usually. Yeah. That is like a... Like a dump, dump, dump. Yeah, that's not that's a table. That's walking right by you. I said I could see something over there. From the sound of ghostly footsteps around mm. them to something tapping on Jeff's shoulder, they clearly <laughs> weren't alone. The duo then decided to split up with Mark in one of the dark tunnels of the fort, while Jeff conducted an EVP session in one of the cells. But while alone in the maze of tunnels, Mark heard something that sent chills down his spine. So, I'd like to introduce myself. If you haven't already seen us wandering around yet, my name is Mark. Right, Mark. I've come a long way to visit this wonderful fort that's been fuck was that mate holy sh what was that who's that oh mate imagine oh my god imagine hearing that imagine being on your own right you've traveled 250 miles to go to this fort you're on your own okay you put the cameras around you think i'm gonna get shit all tonight mate and you sit there and you hear boom Boom! Holy fuck balls, man. I got the chicken on that one. Ooh! Oh my god. Who's banging? Who's making those bangs? Do it again. Do it again! Mark is frozen to the spot and cannot move as loud banging comes from within the ammunition stores. It is so loud that it echoes throughout the whole complex. Mm. Holy sh What was that? Who's that? Oh mate, that would be freaky as shit. Oh my god. If you knew you were on your own, mate, and you heard that, oh my god. As Mark's heart raced from what he just heard, Jeff discovered that something had followed him to the cells. There's walking. Walking is heard, coming from outside the cell that I am in. And I am waiting for the door to open, thinking Mark has returned back from the ammunition stores. But then the walking ceases. Here is the enhanced audio. It's like running. There's walking.
But while the Ghost Tech team were divided, conducting their solo investigations in different parts of the fort, a static camera caught something incredibly creepy. Oh, here we go. <sighs> I told you, tonight, mate. We're doing our solo EVPs. Our static cam in the parade ground captures a figure from a staircase which leads up to the battlements. Here is the original footage, followed by the footage enhanced. Oh, hello, Peaky Boo Boo. Look at you, huh? Look at you, Peaky Boo Boo. It's peeking again. Why are these ghosts peeking all the time? The static camera that had been rolling for hours caught an ominous black figure peering out from a staircase. The sinister being seemed to glance at the main courtyard before disappearing behind the wall. These black shadow things, are these only djinns? Because I'm sure somebody said to me once, like in the comments, that the black shadow things like that are djinns. Is that the only case that they're only djinns or could it be just like a, 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 a you know, an evil entity? And why is an evil entity black? You know? Jeff and Mark had no idea that a I'm sure if you were, if I was evil, right? And I wanted to go undercover as a spirit. I would, I would give myself a different color. Like, most people think that like, you know, the shadow bastards are the evil ones. I'm going to be like a white mist, right? And I'm going to do my shit. Really fuck with people's minds, mate. That's if I was an evil shadow bastard. Shadow figure was caught, but this footage proves that the guys were not alone during this investigation. Number four. TikTok Number four. user Jen Marari has been dealing with an unsettling haunting for the last two years. After moving into an old farmhouse with her wife and daughter, it oh, didn't take it's these lot again, yeah, with a maximum house. Long for them to notice that something wasn't right. What seems to be a stubborn dark spirit just won't seem to leave her property. Over the last 24 months, Jen's been able to catch incredible proof of what she's been experiencing inside of her home. What the hell is that, mate? Is that you, Jen? Jen, what's happened to you? What the fuck? What is that? Shit. Shit, you know, the cat's gone, mate. He's like, motherfucker, I'm gone. But in a terrifying twist, it seems as if this entity is willing to follow her outside of the house. The camera just shut off. I'm genuinely, like, sitting here by myself. There's no one here. What the f***? And I don't know. I'm hearing a bunch of sh and I feel like there's sh all around me. Nobody here. And She's literally sitting in Santa's grotto right now, right? Thing in the window is gone. The freaking blanket. Did you just see that? No. Freaking blankets. Oh. Oh shit. No. Look at that. Rolling punch. Look at that. Get the camera Dude, over there. Have a look. Nothing over here. Quickly. Quickly. There's nothing over there, dude. That's nuts. While Jen was sitting outside completely alone, she began to hear what? strange noises all around her. And after seeing a nearby blanket move out of the corner of her eye, she began to record it. When suddenly, something we cannot see began to pull it off the couch. The movement of this blanket clearly looks like someone or something was causing this to happen. 
Mm. Five days later, while Jen was walking through the woods on her property, she began recording after hearing someone behind her. All right, so I'm walking and I hear other footsteps that are not my own. Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, right? Oh, mate. Nothing. Fucking hell. Imagine. Imagine if she just turned the camera then and just saw this face, right? Like a, like a, like a, like a, uh, between sort of, you don't know if it's male or female, and but it's, 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 it's just wrinkly with dark shadowy eyes and it's like smiling at you like, <sighs> can you remember the video that I did ages ago? And then this person was in the forest and she saw somebody like some woman in a blue dress in the distance. And then she turned and then turned around and she's running up here. Oh, fucking hell, mate. I remember that and it freaked me right out. I try and leave a link or something. Or I'm sure somebody would t t tell me in the comments what, what, which video it was. Freaked me right out, man. All right, where was I? No one. Nothing. I heard that again. Jesus Christ. I think I've seen this one. I'm out. I'm leaving. Hello. Was it like a face in the in the in the in a forest or something? Fucking maximum fish eye lens. Oh! <laughs> Listen. What the f dude? That was not me. That Mate. That's not me. I did not do that. I'm going to count. Can you do that again? Do it again. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 <laughs> Get out! Get out and leave! Okay. Oh my god. Look at yeah with the chicken. Look at the chi look at the chicken, mate. I need a bloody barber. Right? Look at the chicken. Hey? Sorry, did you cut that wood wrong? Do you need to sand it down a little bit, mate? There you go. This. I need to make a call. As Jen completely stopped moving, the sound of footsteps crunching leaves can still be heard. All right, so I'm walking and I hear other footsteps that are not my own. Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, oh, right? Oh, man. Here, I'll stop. Hang on. You heard that, right? But clearly no one was around. Then as she stood still, listening to her surroundings, a ghostly voice eerily whispered, saying, leave. Leave. Mm. What the f***, dude? Leave. Leave. She then began counting when suddenly... Oh, this... that. Did you say leaf or leave? There's plenty of leaves around here. This voice was caught ominously saying, get out. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight. Get out. Nine. This was more than enough activity to convince Jen to get the F out of those woods. <laughs> I, on the other hand, would have bolted out of those woods after the first slightest crunch of a leaf around me. I wouldn't off. I wouldn't off. At all. Number five. Reddit user BourbonLover88 posted a video to Reddit in search for answers. Early one morning at 5.44 a.m., a trail camera they have set up in the woods detected something. And as soon as Bourbon Lover got a chance to review the footage, it sent chills down their spine. Mm. I got you. Spartan! Oh, what was that? In the wee hours of the night, a faint figure can be seen walking through their property. This anomaly moved from left to right, maneuvering through the trees. Because of this figure's stature, I don't believe it's an animal. No. But is it something paranormal, or possibly a person creeping through their property at five in the morning? Mm, Both possibilities be. are equally as terrifying. Number man, six. Man, one day these, these crap foot, and I've been saying this for years, all right? But one day, all the crap footage is going to be a, sing a thing of the past. 
because 8K is going to be better. 8K is, 8K is going to be the, the, the new 360p, right? Sex. Over on a YouTube channel called Mama D, a woman has been documenting the haunting in her home for the last three years. Although she's been experiencing paranormal activity around her for over five decades. Mm. According to D, she's an empath with the ability to hear and sense spirits. And it's not uncommon for these spirits to try to get her attention. Jesus. What? Just a few moments after Dee got up and turned the light off, it mysteriously flipped back on. And incredibly, you can even hear the light switch being moved. Oh. And while this activity seems innocent oh. enough, she's caught other evidence that is downright unsettling. One night while asleep in bed, the security camera in her room was rolling overnight but something continued to trigger the motion sensor. What? Oh, wow! Oh! Oh, mate, that's freaky as shit! In the doorway, hair-raising shadows continuously darted back and forth. These shadows move incredibly fast. But... Oh, now see, these are the things. These are the things that freak me out, mate. I've, to be honest with you, I've had enough of the little peeking, the little peeking thing, right? The little peeking thing behind the door of the, the black shadow. We've seen it so many fucking times. I've had enough of them. I've had enough. Stop doing it. If you're faking it, stop doing it, all right? Unless you're legit, then carry on, because it freaks me out. It's these sort of things, mate, that, I don't know, see? This is the whole point. You could have crystal clear footage of a ghost that looks like, like, literally <laughs> solid, right? And that could be a ghost, but you'd never know. You'd be like, oh, that's fucking shit. That's, that's fucking, that's fake as crap. But you can have, like, a little shadowy ghost like this, you know? Which could also be cr fake. Or it's all, you, you just don't know. But, I don't know, man. This is the sort of stuff that really messes with me. It's the weird stuff, that, the, the, the weird anomalies that mess with me. As well as the ring bitch and the grudge bitch. If we slow down the video, you can clearly see something casting a shadow on the wall and floor. Hmm. No full body figures were caught, but rather small black anomalies rapidly flying back and forth. According to Dee, this is just an average night in her home. Oh. So remind me to never have a sleepover at Dee's place. Yeah. that See, that seems quite legit. I think there's something might be going on there, maybe. Number seven. Number seven. A Lucky number seven. Training Beat 7600 on Reddit recently moved into an apartment that was built in 1912. And it was also built on a graveyard. <laughs> And according to him, the old tenant suddenly left with no explanation. Well, not too long after getting settled in, he suddenly began to notice a heavy presence in the apartment. Out of curiosity, he decided to use a spirit box in an attempt to communicate. Fucking hell, I hate that sound. Is there anybody in here? Did you hear that? Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, Michael. Immediately after asking, is there anybody in here? A crystal clear yes came through the spirit box. This Reddit user was thrilled at the response, but in the days that followed, his excitement soon faded and was replaced by fear. I've seen this one, mate. I've seen this one. It's weird, mate. It's weird. My hand. After noticing movement in his hallway, he began recording when he managed. It's just weird that he, when he was going through that corridor, he heard the words "yes," and then that's, and that, that's happening. The guitar moving on its own. 
As it hung from the wall, it eerily began to move in a way that looked as if someone was trying to pull it down. Mm. Training Beat 7600 has no idea how to explain this, but maybe this ghost was just trying to get the party started. <laughs> Number eight. Number eight. Over the last couple years, we've seen Dave and Dell from the Signs and Signals YouTube channel conduct countless investigations at an extremely haunted church. Well, as you may have guessed, they decided to return. To switch things up, Dell entered the church completely alone to do his own solo investigation. All right, I'm in here. Stinking up the place with my gas demons. With my gas demons? Um, the real demons are in here. Say what's up to the camera. Oh my God. Well, here we go. Oh, they've been, in, they've been in here a couple of times, I think. Is anybody in here that like to communicate? Come on out! I'm in here all alone. Oh, I'm silly and totally like you to sell it. Dude, I know y'all heard that. I heard After that. After asking if anyone would like to communicate, Dell quickly found out that his gas demons were not the only ones inside. A faint ghostly voice seemed to respond, saying yes. Oh my God. <sighs> Ooh. It's always get out, isn't it? I'm very skeptical today. I'm sorry. Right, but I'm just being very skeptical. I've had enough of the peep, the, the, the black shadow bastards poking their heads around the corner, and it's always get out. Why can't a ghost be like, all right, mate? Fuck me, I've been, I've seen anyone for like 25 years. How you doing? Take a seat. Huh? Do you want to play some Ouija board? <sighs> get out! No! You fucking get out! Dell heard this with his own ears, immediately putting him on edge. He then cautiously made his edge. way through the church, ensuring that no one else was in the building. But when he eventually took a seat in the pews, things took an unsettling turn. God, I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus. I think what would be more scary now, instead of the... It should be sort of just normal, get out. Like a proper just get out from a different voice, you know? Or just get out, like, like an angry or, you know? Maybe that, maybe that should be different. Oh, God, please be with me. Ooh, boy, dude. Mate, that is some V for Vendetta mustache going on there, man. I really feel like I'm about to get sick. Like, just... <sighs> Calm down. Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I don't know how entertaining this is, um, but you try coming in here by yourself. It's 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 not cool. It's, it... Come on out and show yourself. Fuck, what was that? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cool. What just happened? Um, thank you. Or if you're somebody in here that, that wants me to leave, just tell me. David? Immediately after saying, come on out and show yourself, a loud bang came from inside the room. Oh, okay. But as Dell went looking for the source of this noise, he began to antagonize whatever may be lurking in the church. You just gonna play with me and just uh, keep on knocking, making me come back here, and then you do nothing. So you're obviously just effing with me. And, uh, you know, I can F with you back. I can just completely ignore you. You're not even there. I don't even care. 
you ain't nothing. You ain't never been anything. That's the reason why you're stuck here. Yeah. You suck. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that was right on the ground. I could feel that rumbling on my feet. What? What? What's that supposed to mean, huh? You want me to come back in there? Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, coming. come on, I'm gonna kick your ass. Come on. Back in there. Hell no. No, you stay in there. How about that? Kick his ass, sea bass. What the hell, dude? Oh, that's banging oh his mouth. There's banging every. It's like chasing me, dude. What? What the hell? What are you doing? Oh, mate, imagine that, though. Okay, this is freaking me out a little bit, mate. This is freaking me out a little bit. Shut up. All right, sorry. I'm just fucking watching. Shut. Oh, hell no with this. I'm getting out of here. That. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mate, this is going to another bloody level! Out of nowhere, loud bangs began to come from every corner of the room, sending Dell running for the door, trying to get out. But after discovering the door was jammed, he stood still, trying to catch his breath. It stopped. Mate, if that legit happened to you, you would never go silent again! <laughs> You'd be like, your mate's phoned you up, All right, buddy? Yeah. Well, mate, just see if you want to go for a ghost hunt. Fuck you, man! <laughs> Dude. I need to leave. Yeah. Dude. Oh! oh. Kick it down, round the with mate! Damon! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, David. I'll go for it. Call this. Hey! What the f happened? What the f? I'm gonna plug this. David! Hey! There's like a whole bunch of chairs in the way, dude. In the way. <laughs> what the f? Dude, come on. Get Get out of here. Go, I didn't do it. Go. <laughs> what Go. the hell are you doing? <laughs> that damn place. What? What happened? I'll tell you in the corporate dude. That shit. As he stared at the door in front of him, <laughs> oh, someone or something. Oh man, I'm gonna have to watch that channel. It seems pretty damn good. To aggressively slam against it. With no other options, Dell decided to go back through the church to find another exit. But as he entered the main room, he discovered that tables and chairs were now scattered across the floor. He eventually made it out, but not without having a truly traumatizing experience. Oh, mate. Number nine. Number nine. TikTok user Savvy Cat has dozens of beautiful videos of nature scattered across her account. But besides these videos of mountains, oceans, and wildlife, a recent post took her followers by surprise. According to Savvy, a security camera in her parents' home seemed to catch something bizarre. Oh, on the floor, look. What the hell is that? Oh, now it's floating up. What is that? Near the bottom of the couch, a white mass seemed to manifest. This strange anomaly then flew through the room, seeming to grow larger as time went on. And as it traveled, it appeared to leave behind a ghostly white trail. Neither Savvy or her parents have been able to come up with an explanation. So what do you think? Ooh. Number okay. 10. Number 10. A woman named Jazzy on TikTok recently posted a series of videos that caught my eye. Jazzy is a new mom to an adorable baby boy, but lately she started to notice strange things appearing on her baby monitor. Late one night. Oh, here we go, mate. Not on the baby monitor, man. This shit fucks me right up. 
It S me right up, okay? Come on. Come on! Checking her camera's live feed, she noticed that her baby had a visitor. Oh god, here we go, look. Wow. Mate, that is an orb. That is legit an orb. What the hell? Look at it moving. It's manifesting. Mate. Mate, I'm telling you, that's an orb. That's not a fucking bubble or a dust particle. That's an orb. A glowing orb danced around the inside of the crib appearing to get closer and closer to the sleeping child. According to Jazzy, this- How it moves like that right at the very end. Orb was caught on camera for Look. a total of 24 minutes. What? But little did she know that in the nights that followed, things would get even creepier. Oh, wow. As her son was fast asleep, it looked as if something yanked his legs out from under- Mate, that was, that was, that was, that baby was pulled. The legs of the baby, I'm spitting, was pulled. For him, luckily, he didn't seem to react to this, but Jazzy couldn't help but find it strange. And the following night, her camera caught this. No, 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 no! No way! While asleep, something appeared to grab the baby's foot and drag him toward the side of the crib before waking him up. This bizarre movement looks as if an invisible force has a grip on the child, and this footage immediately sent chills down Jazzy's spine. I'm just wondering why it would do that. Would it do that because it doesn't want to, doesn't want his head to go in between the gaps of the of the cot and then start having like a a, a bulge on your head? Do you know what I mean? Right. You know, with, with, with the babies, they, they push themselves against and they start having their bulge. It'd be like fucking Dear David. Ever since discovering this video, Jazzy has not let him sleep in that room. And honestly, that's probably for the best. Make sure to follow me on Instagram <gasps> to hear more from- There you go, mate. That was fearsome top five. Top nine I did, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it.